Why do we need royal good news? An alternative question that we might ask for this chapter is, why did God's gospel have to feature a king? Well, this is an important question to be able to answer for a number of reasons. But first of all, we need to recognize that this is not the news we might have expected. The news we might have expected would be, what's God going to do about my sin problem? Don't I need the Lamb of God to take away my sin? Don't I need a Savior? Don't I need rescue from my sin problem? Well, of course you do. Uh, a news about a king is more expansive news, but it may not have been the news that we were expecting. So we need to know how to confront this unexpected news. We didn't get to vote for this king. It's not a consensus decision, but we have to accept that this is God's wisdom for the world. The second reason why we need to answer this question is because we need to recognize that the gospel is not just rescue from something, but is rescue for something. We need a royal gospel because only a king can restore God's royal intentions for all humanity. So why do we need royal good news? God created humans in his image to rule. Sin distorts God's glory in our image bearing. Only a king that flawlessly bears God's image can carry God's full glory to creation, vanquishing the personal, social, and cosmic effects of sin. How do we know that this is the answer? Well, when we go back to Genesis, we discover that God's intentions for humanity are royal from the beginning. When God creates humans in Genesis, he cre creates them in his image, and he creates them for the purpose of ruling on his behalf. In fact, when Adam and Eve are placed in the garden, the purpose for which Adam is placed is in order to serve and to safeguard. So we recognize that to be a king in the Bible is not to be served, but to serve. Just as Jesus says that he didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. God's intentions for humanity are royal, but that involves serving and safeguarding. God created us in his image. So we need to recognize that part of the reason why we're being saved for is so that we can bear God's image. God created us so that we are a reflection of his glory. We bear that glory as we are placed locally in creation. So God places many image bearers here, there, and everywhere because God wants his glory to be present in all of these places. We're to radiate God's glory outward. And that's part of what it means to bear the image of God. How does this change our lives? Well, we should recognize that God's kingship through Jesus is something that's holistic. It addresses every aspect of our lives. And this is important because sin is also multidimensional. We might restrict sin and make it a narrow thing that it's just what personally separates me from God. Well, it does do that. It does personally separate you and me from God. But we need to recognize that sin is larger than that, that it also impacts our social arrangements, our political arrangements, and even is as wide as the whole universe. It has a cosmic dimension. So Jesus' kingship is something that addresses all of those. We need a king because we need not just our personal sin taken care of, we also need our social and political failings to be corrected too. So let's explore together why we need royal good news.